Suchita, uh, Shashi, Pawan, uh, Mr. Mehra, Vikram, Surabhi, Yudhveer. Uh, I think I'm one of those rare few people who have had the pleasure of uh, reading Suchita's all four books. And uh, I, I admire Suchita uh, for her really fascinating writings. Uh, I read her books uh, non-stop. I pick them up one evening and I read. They're, you can't put them down, so you just read them all through. And I finish them in about uh, one night all along, uh, early morning before, you know, just non-stop. Uh, they're so fascinating. You know, the great thing about uh, Suchita's writings are that they bring so much nostalgic memories to one's life. You know, they almost, when you read her books, uh, it almost reminds me of my going back. You know, I studied all my life in North India and suddenly I was uh, in, in a subdivision called Teriche uh, in Kerala. And I spent all my life as a civil servant in Kerala. And uh, it brings back such great memories because you are young, you are passionate, you are committed, there is a lot of idealism, you feel that you want to transform the world and you are capable of doing it. So all that in many ways is what Subhajit in this book is all about. Uh, he is a person who is at, at the grassroots level delivered some unique things and yet uh, he has lost touch with the reality of his own family. I mean he has lost touch with his wife, he has lost touch with his children and uh, you know, it's, uh, it happens to most of us in civil service. You know, quite a lot of us just get so involved with our own world of uh, government, of our own world of thinking that the world revolves around us in, in our districts, in our subdivisions. We feel that uh, we are here to change the world and quite often we forget that there is a family and there is much more to do than just the government service. And therefore, I think it's very important what comes out of this book and why we must read this book. I think what's very important for all of us to read this book. Please do pick it up and do read this book. What comes out of this book is that there's a world beyond your service and that you must have an interest in many other things in life. You must take care of your family. If you want to keep doing well, do take care of your wife, do take care of your children which I am guilty of not doing myself, but do, do, do that. But one of the great things of this book is the way, the very unique manner, the beautifully written, uh, you know, she's crafted the book so beautifully, uh, you know, that uh, she brings out the dilemma, the dilemma in Subhajit's life. Subhajit decides to crash it out. He says that I've had it all. And it's very beautifully written at the end of the book. It's so beautifully written, the dilemma in Subhijit's life. I mean, it's so well written, uh, you know, that at the peak of his life, Subhijit decides that he has had enough, I've enough of my stint with the administration, sir. Uh, and he says, enough of my job, enough of my robotic life, enough of having to make forced decisions, enough of having to stifle the voice of conscience at times, enough of ignoring the thin line of demarcation between the personal and the professional, enough of sacrificing my personal life and concerns in the larger interest. And at that point of time, Subhajit decides to quit. So it's a fascinating book, uh, excellently written. Uh, you, once you start reading it, it's, it's, it's like a breath of fresh air. It's, uh, Suchita is, is a fascinating writer, she's an extraordinary writer, she's a remarkable writer and uh, you know, uh, I, I really wish that uh, uh, she's talked and written about more because I think it's, it's uh, all her four, four books, I found them as really truly brilliant writings and I've greatly enjoyed her books. So I really wish you all the best. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen.